Warwickshire kept themselves right in the title mix and still in line for an amazing treble, while Somerset are now left just on the outside in this competition after the visitors to Taunton won by 215 runs on the final day of the crucial LV County Championship match with Jitan Patel and Ricardo Gordon bowling the Bears to victory with four wickets apiece. Somerset had been set 404 runs to win and needed 403 on the last day with all 10 wickets in hand and this drive from Johan Myberg was not too far away from point. Patel was introduced into the attack in the 8th over and struck with his 4th ball. Marcus Truscothic stuck in the crease and hit on the pants in front of his stumps to go for 4. Taking the opportunities available has been the big difference between these two teams. Varun Chopra held on to this edge to remove Myberg for 23. Somerset had dropped eight catches in this game. Two balls later and Oliver Hannon Dolby had his team right on top as Tom Abel shouldered arms and was bowled for a duck after making a match-altering 95 in his maiden first-class knock. Somerset's chances of winning had gone within the first hour and it was now all about preventing Warwickshire from claiming a huge win for them to keep them fighting on all three fronts this summer. They have been an exceptional cricket team this year and had to be patient now as James Hildreth and Nick Compton began to make life a little more difficult for their bowlers. Patel was always going to be the key and he was convinced that he had Compton caught behind. The decision though going against the bowler who then watched Tim Ambrose miss a chance to stump Hildreth when the ball became lodged in the keeper's pads. The batsman not knowing at all where it had gone. So Hildreth and Compton survived until lunch, by which time they'd taken the total to 83 for three, a 50-run stand in the bag for the fourth wicket. But to the third ball of the afternoon session, Hildreth decided to go on the attack and found Hannon Dolby at mid-on after making 26. Warwickshire were pumped up after meeting in the dressing room during the break and Gordon roughed up Compton, who took a nasty blow which took the former England opener a few moments to recover from. Whether that affected him in Gordon's next over only he will know, but another short ball was pulled to Jonathan Trott, who held on quite brilliantly with a parry to prevent a six, to leave the home side five down with only 94 runs on the board. Gordon, playing in only his fifth first-class match due to Chris Wokes being with England and injuries to Chris Wright, Boyd Rankin and Keith Barker, was looking good, although for a while at least, Alex Barrow kept him and Patel at bay, the total moving on to 142 as Barrow and Peter Trigo added 48 runs for the sixth wicket. That resistance was ended when Barrow on 29 edged Patel to Ricky Clark with the score on 142 for six. That became 171 for seven just before T, as Gordon, who was charging in, had Craig Overton taken down the leg side by Ambrose after making nine. It took Warwickshire only six overs of the final session to earn what was a massive win for them. Lewis Gregory nicked off to Gordon, who was loving his first appearance in the championship this season. Patel then bowled Alfonso Thomas, who missed a pull, as the New Zealander ended with figures of 4 for 64 from 32 almost perfect overs. Before the 22-year-old Gordon had Trigo held in the deep by Trot to take career best figures of 4 for 53 with a performance that will fill the youngster with confidence. Somerset were all out for 188 and that meant a big win for the visitors which keeps them right in the mix for the title they last won only a couple of years ago. With a 215 run win they took 23 points from this match to Somerset's five and that puts them into third place in the table 21 points behind the leaders Yorkshire with three games to play including one against the division's whipping boys Northamptonshire in Edgebaston while Nottinghamshire and Yorkshire still have to play each other. For Somerset, their dreams of winning the title for the first time in their history are probably at an end for this year. They are now 35 points adrift of the leaders.